starts racing when I start filming and I haven't filmed them forever. So that's what's happening right, right. I have my tea. Mmm. So hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever since I've uploaded. I have been incredibly busy with school and the reason I'm even actually able to film this video today is because I actually wasn't able to make it to school because of traffic. So um, today is like an extra day. It's kind of sad though. I, I'm, a, I'm a little upset about it. I wish I could have been at school, so. Oh well. Um, so I figured I would sit down and make a video since I haven't made one in like literally forever. And I really just, I just want to play with makeup. I mean, that's what I would have been doing if I had gone to school today. So I feel like that's what I should do. Um, so I have gotten quite a few things since I've started school because uh, since we're actually like learning to how to use makeup and all that stuff, uh, I am even more tempted to go to the store and just like look at things and, and then I buy things. It's bad. I don't really have a plan for this video, so let's just say that. Um, this is kind of just like a chat get ready with me even though it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. It's fine. It's cool. Um, so I just wanted to hang out and kind of just chat and uh, just kind of let you guys know what's going on with me lately because I feel like there's a lot. There's, there's a lot going on. Uh, but if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I did just add a watermark so you should be able to just click right here and be able to subscribe to my channel, like super easy. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Is anyone else just like, even though it's the beginning of September, already started drinking like pumpkin stuff because this is pumpkin tea and I had pumpkin coffee this morning. I'm basically obsessed with fall. So the second I'm like, it's acceptable to like do fall things, I'm gonna do it because fall is my favorite. I wanna wear scarves and all that stuff but it's like 87 degrees outside today. So that's not gonna be happening. I'm actually wearing shorts and just this t-shirt. But I wanna be wearing a sweater. Just let that be known. I wish I had more pumpkin candles, but I'm just gonna deal with my pumpkin tea for now. So now that I feel like I have all my stuff in front of me, which honestly I probably don't, but we're just gonna get started. Uh, so, I guess I should kind of start off this video by saying since, well, I had me and um, my boyfriend ended up breaking up, uh, how long ago? Over a month ago, I think. And um, it was kind of mutual, but it, it was a really, really sucky situation, really. Um, but you know, it's for the best. So I think I've kind of just decided to, um, not date anyone right now since I'm really like so busy for, with school and that's okay too. Okay. So, oh, I'm using the Wet n Wild Dewy primer as well as the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, but I put the Wet n Wild one all over my face, but I'm just going to focus putting this, ugh, oh god, um, in the middle of my face, like where a lot of my pores are. And um, I've been learning in school that actually using a synthetic brush to apply your primer, especially like pore filling primers, definitely helps with um, getting all of the primer in the pores that you want to fill. Whereas like if you're putting it on with your fingers, it's just gonna like basically kind of rub it away and not really get in there. Cause with a brush you can go like a lot of different directions. And I'm learning to be a makeup artist, it's okay. I'm not trying to show off or anything. Plus I just like the feeling of brushes on my face, it's so nice. I got a new brow pomade. Granted, I still have quite a bit of my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde left, but since I've been in school, um, I've been like tinting my brows and my brows have been a lot darker than they normally are, which I guess right now they're kind of okay. Um, they're not, I don't know, they just look really different whenever you first uh, tint your brows because it kind of like stains your skin a little bit. 
but I feel like it looks so nice. That's what I would want it to look like when my eyebrows are filled in. And then I've gotten um, another pomade, but it ended up being like way too dark. So I'm hoping this one's not too dark. This is the NYX uh, Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade, and this one's in the shade Chocolate. So this is what it looks like. It's not too light, not too dark. So I'm hoping this works out. Um, I wish I had a smaller mirror, but I guess we're just gonna have to, I don't want my mirror to be in the frame, so I'm just gonna try to do this from afar. Okay, I'm actually, I'm just gonna cut this part out because this is getting ridiculous and I'll be right back with brows. All right, I really understand why people do their brows off camera because that took an embarrassingly long, took an embarrassingly long time to do my brows. But as always, my brows look crazy because I just started my makeup and I feel like it all comes together in the end. So just totally don't mind that my brows look crazy right now. I know I put primer on already on my face, but I still think I want to start with my eyes first. Um, so I'm going to put some primer on, some uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And um, I did get one of the Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes. And I kind of want to play a little bit with that palette, but probably in conjunction with another palette just because um the the palette that i got i got the the, the bling boss one the purple one uh because i can never have enough purple eyeshadow uh and um i just i think i want to do like an orange and purple look today but i want to use a lot of those shades like on the lid so for transition and stuff i'm going to need like an orangey shirt God, if y'all could just see my desk right now, that's insane. Uh, I'm gonna start with the shade uh, Creamsicle that's in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I actually just recently hit pan on one of my shadows in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I wanted to cry. Um, but this is um, an M518 Morphe brush. Um, just gonna use that transition shade take that pretty much almost all the way up to the eyebrow but like leave just a little bit of space gosh I didn't realize I could see so much of my veins today on oh, my eyelid right here it's fine they're probably gonna get covered up anyway because the last I think the last time I put uh, concealer on first and then put a uh, uh, eyeshadow primer on it got super messed up and I think I was doing this exact same type of video where I'm just like doing a chatty get ready with me but oh hi here I'll move my pillow so you can come hang out with me come here, here. <gasps> look here look oh look my little puppy Bailey she just got a haircut yesterday so you know she looks all nice and fresh and her cute little bandana is getting me super in the fall mood. Okay, but like, look at her. Look, the cuteness, I love it so much. And it has glitter on it, I mean, come on. Oh, okay. It's usually where she likes to hang out. <sighs> All right. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry if you guys can hear music. I cannot, it's been so hard, especially to film in silence, so. Okay, and I'm sorry I'm jumping from palette to palette, but that's just how it is right now. Um, but this is the the Dare to Create palette. This palette is jumbo, but I'm gonna go into this middle shade right here. It's kind of like a like a pumpkin-y color. And I'm gonna use that same brush. Put that more in the crease. Watch this look turn out horrible. I don't even really have a plan, like I was saying. But I just want orange and purple on my eyes. That's what I want. Why is this color way more pigmented than that other shadow? And how come I didn't already know that? 
this is the Jaclyn Hill palette I got. I've just kind of swatched it a little bit. I haven't put it on my eyes, so that's what the marks are in this. So this will be my first time actually putting it on my eyeballs. I'm excited. Purple's my favorite. I'm trying to be a good dog mom, but Bailey is definitely crowding me right now. It's fine. It's love. It's true love. Okay. Oh, I love that all of the names for these shadows are like directly under them. So yeah, I'm like, I'm a fan of that. Let's see. Purple, purple. This is kind of more plum. Let me see. I need like a matte, like light purple. I... Hang on. I, I have so much eyeshadow now. Just hang. Okay. Sorry. I got distracted. Okay. So I did also just recently get this palette, which cut the only reason I actually ended up getting this palette is because they discontinued the 35B and I'm still a little bit upset about it, but this is fine. I do really like this palette. This is the uh, BH Cosmetics uh, Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It looks like this on the front. Uh, I honestly, I mean, I've really been liking the shades in this, but I'm going to be going in with this one right here. Oh, this one right here. I've already started to kind of put it in here just to make sure that I'm liking how it's looking. And I'm using... Um, this crooked uh, M433 and I'm just putting it in the crease. All right, what else is going on in my life? School, newly single, sort of. Um, oh, I did, um, I just started eating keto a couple weeks ago uh, and it's going really well. I've already lost like five pounds. So I don't know if you guys know what keto is, but it's basically like this, this diet. Okay. It's a change of lifestyle. So let's say that, uh, and you basically eat your calories and stuff there. It's 75% fat. Oh man. my mouth is so off 20%, um, protein and I think 5% carbs. It's it's definitely an adjustment. Um, that is for sure. I'm going to go in with that shade above that lighter purple. And use that same brush. And just know that if you were to use these uh, eyeshadows with like a, a shader brush, that they go on much more pigmented than this. Like this is just a blending brush that's so just like putting it out, blending it out. This is uh, Jules, use all the palettes days. The shade Ballsy is, I feel, the entire reason why I bought this palette. Because I swatched it on my hand and it is like, Oh my god, it's such a beautiful shade. It's like purple and gold together. And gold is my favorite. So I feel like this just fits. And that is with not wetting it or anything. And I feel like that went on really, really well. Just love playing with makeup. I don't gonna say this a million times I don't know what I'm doing right now we're just going with it mm -mm -mm. okay oh and that was just on an elf shader brush this is like their new with the clear handle one um, I'm gonna go into that shade next door called Rockstar on a small Blending brush. This is the Morphe M514. She's the itty bitty blender. Ooh. Yeah. That's giving me the vibe I want. I mean, I think that's pretty. isn't as purpley as I want. I 
Let me see. Let's grab the shade Gem, which is that, like, literally the brightest color in that palette. Put that on the outer corner here with another shader brush. It's not uh, a makeup technique to blend your eyeshadow with your finger, but that's just what I decided to do. Okay, I'm digging that. So, but okay, back to me talking about keto. Um, if you guys are interested, I will, which wh whether you're interested or not, I'll probably start making keto videos because uh, I've been making a lot of stuff and I've been sticking pretty full to it. Uh, granted, since I'm celiac, I can't have like regular wheat anyway. So I know that's a temptation for a lot of people, but mm -mm. not for me because... I literally can't. I'm kind of okay with where it's at right now. We're gonna move on to the face. This is a relatively new um, foundation. You can get it at C some CVS's. This CYO, yeah, CYO Long Lasting Foundation. And this is the shade 104. I originally bought the lightest shade that they had. And, um, yeah, I look like a ghost, so we're not doing that. So I'm pumping some on my hand as well as some of the, um, this is the Becca, uh, Shimmering Skin Perfecting Liquid, uh, in the shade Prosecco Pop. And I just like mixing some of this in with my foundation, especially if it's like a matte one, which I'm sure if you saw my super, super, super glowy, uh, video, you know what's up. So I'm just mixing it with the back of a <laughs> makeup sponge. Makeup sponge. Jewels. A makeup brush. A concealer brush to be exact. Um, do I want to use this? Um, yeah. Okay. So I've been using this brush, which in the past I've used this brush a lot for like <laughs> bronzer and whatnot. And, um, I got to school one day and, uh, when we started doing makeup and I was talking with my instructor and I was like, Hey, like I've had this brush forever. I never know what to use it for because I just kind of received it in like an Ipsy or something. And, um, it didn't really say like what kind of brush it was. Like, what would you use this brush for? And she was like, well, it looks like a liquid foundation brush. And uh, that day, I tried it as a liquid foundation brush, like I'm applying it right now, and I love it. So, if you have a brush similar to this, that's <laughs> what it's for, for all the people that don't know, i.e. people like me. I am going to have to add a little bit more foundation. Uh, my skin is looking a lot better now that, well, I just started getting chemical peels a couple weeks ago. I think I'll actually be getting my fourth one tomorrow. Um, but uh, ever since I started getting chemical peels, my skin has been clearing up so much because at, for a while there, my skin was actually getting like really bad because uh, we were doing all these like detox stuff, uh, like masks and, masks and what not with our facials and uh oh man it was pulling all the crap out of my face it was it was rough so so I'm finally getting to a point where my skin's looking better and now I'm just kind of dealing with hyperpigmentation so but I think I'm definitely gonna do I'm gonna do the um chemical peels that we have going on tomorrow and then kind of see how my skin reacts to that which I don't know if you can like imagine chemical peels are uh, they sound painful and I think because a lot of people make them sound really bad but like your face should be like red but only for like that day and you shouldn't be putting anything else on your face like the same day that you get a chemical peel but like I think it's the word peel scares people and 
I have not had like layers of skin just like peeling off of my face, which is I, what I think a lot of people think it's supposed to be. And which in a way I guess could sound appealing to other people because it's like getting rid of that top, the few top layers of skin and like revealing baby skin underneath. But no, you definitely just want to pace yourself and don't make your skin hate you. So that brush was like really an awesome bow, like getting it all over my face and blending it for the most part. But I just want to go over with a sponge just to kind of like tap out like any brush mark. My eyeshadow is still a little messy, but I'm going to clean that up with concealer. Um, what concealer do I want to use? So this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I am still using C1, which is the lightest shade they have. Uh, but I've been trying to not use a whole lot. Okay, I don't know if you can tell I'm like, I'm kind of spreading it out, but not like lathering it on there. Just love playing with makeup. Love it so much. I can't wait until I actually start doing this for money. <laughs> like for a career. That's what I mean. I don't mean like, I don't necessarily mean YouTube for money. Although I think that would be cool, but then also the pressure of like having to upload videos kind of scares me. Ooh. I made a sharp one. Oh, this is the um, Morphe like contour sponge, which I like it all right. Although I did end up washing it with um, laundry detergent because that's kind of all I had at school one day. And um, it kind of bleached some of it. like. It, can you see like the like little bits of color difference here it just washed some of the color out and I was um I was a little bitter about it um I actually saw one of my favorite youtubers uh, do this the other day where she like let her concealer dry and then crease and then blended it out and I've been kind of trying it lately but I want to go ahead and do that again today so actually want to go ahead and use this contour stick by wet n wild it's kind of uh, more of a warm tone that I would typically want, but um, I am gonna end up. Uh, I am gonna end up using a contour powder over it. So, but um, this is kind of this isn't. Well, okay, it is cream contouring, but this isn't gonna be like my only contour. Ooh, that just got in my hair. Oh well. <laughs> I just find that um, my contour looks a little bit better if uh, it's cream and blended in. So, um, it and it plus like if you're trying to like cover up um, like acne like I am down here, uh, it it helps not like if you're brushing stuff over it to like move it around it just adds like another layer that's not like a thick layer to um yeah help cover stuff up oh that came up a little high i feel like i always look super crazy when i'm doing my makeup Blend this into my roots because getting to where I almost need to do my hair again. <sighs> ah. I'm always 
always like really it's questionable to do my nose with that. And this is the other sponge I have the foundation on it. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's cool. I feel like I look like 50 shades of crazy. but it'll, it'll turn out, hopefully. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with the Flower Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. If I have any left. Oh my gosh, do I not have like any? Where are my tweezers? I have a ton. Well, sort of. Um, oh, it really didn't crease under my eyes very much. Not that I'm complaining, but nice. Oh, my favorite song. Okay, so I'm just going to put this powder on the places that I didn't really put any of that contour, the cream contour, to just set that. You can still see that sheen even though like I put powder on. Cause it's got like that shininess to it, which is, I love. Okay. I need a smaller brush for under my eyes. Ah, yes. Okay, so then I'm going to use that Essie. Essie. I'm going to use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder with the broken lid and it has a hair hanging off of it. Sorry. Make sure it's all blended out. Feels so good. I'm getting powder all over my shirt. Okay, and I'm gonna put this powder also on my nose because I feel like some of that contour got on there. Okay, if we're just gonna put it on the T-zone, it's fine. Mm. Now to my beloved Shade and Light palette. She has been getting some use. I mean, I actually ended up using the darkest shade on one of my classmates. And um, I had never used it before. So, <clears throat> so I'm gonna grab this brush and go into those two <clears throat> darker shades that I use pretty frequently. <clears throat> Kinda go everywhere. This eyeshadow brush to do the nose. This is just a like a Lexi 207. I don't like using anything bigger than this because of the way it looks too like blown out. Okay, bye. If you jump up on my bed, I'm gonna smack you. I wouldn't have really smacked my dog, but. I will say that, that that is pretty cute. 
right? Put that away. And then we need bleach. Where's the bleach I want to use? I don't care, we just like, we should just do like an orangey blush. This is Apricot in the Middle by Wet n Wild. I love this brush. I love this blush. And this is, I'm gonna use it with the um, a Flawless Face. It's really not gonna add too much to my face since I still feel like I look pretty warm with all the um, contour and that cream contour. Okay, that's enough of that. And then put on some highlight. I feel like everything I'm using this drugstore, mostly drugstore. It's okay. Um, this is, I mean, just the Mega Glow highlighters are great, but you know, a fit pan on this one. Uh, this is the Golden Flower Crown by Wet n Wild. And I love her. And we're gonna use my sad Morphe R36 right now to put that on my face. Once again, this is with no spritzing or anything. Makes me so happy being so shiny. I can never decide where I want to put my highlight on my forehead. Do I want it in the middle? Because I kind of like it in the middle, but then I know other people do it like above their eyebrow. Can we just do the whole forehead? Is that a thing? Can be like this weird like <laughs> halo around my eyeballs. All right, I need to stop. This is getting intense. But I can't stop. Okay. We'll probably put that in the inner corner later, so I need to set that aside. Um, what else? We need to do a little bit of the lower lash line and then lashes. may or may not be a bright idea, but I'm putting this hard candy um, gold liner in my waterline. Kind of, we're just going with it. I, I mean, there's other, there's gold in my look because sorry, I feel like I'm not being super chatty now. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I don't want to talk about too much of any one thing because who really just wants to hear someone babble on about something that that person doesn't care about. It's subtle, I like it. And I don't, if, especially if you're putting on false lashes, it definitely to me doesn't matter what mascara you use, but this is Lash Paradise. And I'm foregoing uh, winged eyeliner or anything just because I simply don't feel like it. Although I feel like my winged eyeliner skills have improved since being in school. Okay, I'm gonna put on some lashes and I'll be right back. Does anyone else feel so much better when they have lashes on? Because I do. I hate my real lashes. <laughs> People tell me they're long, but I really don't feel like they are. Um, but these are just uh, Ardell Demi Wispies, and I used that uh, hypoallergenic glue that I made a video about uh, several months ago because uh, I couldn't find my kiss glue, my white kiss glue, which is, in my opinion, the best glue because it doesn't burn my eyes. No one likes getting their eyes burned, but this this one doesn't burn my eyes either. Okay. Um, let's, let me 
gonna look back in that Jekyll Hill palette. Because I think I might wanna put something from that palette in my inner corner. Yeah, let's see. Glitz and Glam. Wait, where is my Sonia Kashuk? I love this little Sonia Kashuk brush. What is it, number 106? I don't even know that they make this anymore. But um, I really like it for inner corner highlight. I feel like it fits just like right in there and it fits with the right amount of product that I want. This color, oh my God. Oh. I think that's the definition of speechless. I love it. Um, I'm probably going to regret this, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. I almost hate uh, every time. Oh no! But normally I do hate uh, like underbrow highlight on me. I feel like it looks weird, but no, this actually looks it looks a okay. This is turning out much better than I thought. So I'm very happy. Okay, now we're gonna move on to lips and I'm just gonna keep it real simple with a nude lip. This is a, oh, a um, Rimmel lip liner in the shade Tiramisu. Try to round out those Cupid's bow. I don't know about you guys, but I really like coloring in the entirety of my lips with lip liner. Just so I can kind of like get a vibe for what color I'm about to do. Uh, which this is the shade uh, Seductress in the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This is like one of my favorite lip formulas. Uh, just because it, it doesn't really go anywhere. <laughs> Uh, it really is, I wouldn't say it's like a matte matte, it's uh, a soft matte, and, uh, and it smells like cupcakes. I'm feeling it guys, I'm feeling it. Especially with my mental health lately. It, this actually, I will say, this did take a lot for me to make this video. Um, uh, I've really been struggling more with my mental health and um, I haven't wanted to do anything. So I'm very proud of myself that I was actually able to come sit down and film this video. <sighs> just on a side note, I'm not trying to make it all about that. But just know mental health is very important. Uh, so I'm going to set my face before I... I feel like that was really dramatic, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to set my face before I put on lower lash mascara because I feel like... It just ends awful for me every single time I try to do it beforehand, so. And this is just a travel size of the uh, All Nighter Setting Spray, which it is the um, 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. Started a couple days ago last week, I don't know. It started and I think the last day they're doing this on special or it's like half off or something like that. So I will be picking up like the actual size then because I can justify spending $15 on a big bottle of setting spray than 30, 32 or whatever it is. Um, mascara. I'm, a little, I'm getting so distracted. I'm sorry. Feeling it. Um, 
my only gripe, hold on. I know I did just spray my face, but I do just want to put, because I feel like my forehead is a little too dark. I'm going to use that SC Essence Brightening Brighten Up Powder. Thanks for coming to hang out with me during my try to get ready with me. If there's any other videos that you guys want to see, I will do my best to try to make time to do them. But right now, I just don't have a ton of motivation to make videos since I just feel so overwhelmed with school. But this is something that I still really love doing. Um, so don't think that I haven't done this because I don't like it because I still like it. I love it so much. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. La, 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 la. Okay. <laughs> this is great.